Hate him or love him, man. That boy Power been dropping Jews lately, man. And we just gonna start out the video just like this. I've seen a lot of people say don't be afraid to open up in this community. They're wrong. Keep your personal business uh, personal because these people don't really care about you. They're just nosy. They will listen and then expose you when it benefits them. I'm not paranoid. I just learn. And regardless of what they say, man, that is absolutely right. Whether it goes from, from anything on social media, anything you post on social media, you send to somebody in a DM, you do any of that. You just have to be aware that somewhere along the lines, they might be screenshotting that thing and getting them, to, them Twitter fingers ready to repost that joint and just be like trying to expose something. And all you was trying to do is just have a heartfelt moment with them. That's why if you ain't got nobody that you can trust, man, you better talk to you better talk to the dog, talk to the wall, talk to your wife, or just make sure that you got somebody that you can actually, actually really, really confide in. You know, when you're having a tough time, one of your homeboys, any of that. I ain't saying that people online are untrustworthy because I feel like I got friends that I met online, Big Snacks, Brute. Gambit, all them guys, plenty more. Hard eight times, all of that stuff. Hey, I can confide in them and it ain't never coming back and never see the light of day again, but not everybody has that. And if you're gonna confide in somebody or tell somebody something that, that could potentially hurt you in the future, make, just make sure that they're not the type of person that's gonna retweet something or snapshot something or do any of that. You know what the easiest way to find out if they're gonna do that is? If they've ever sent you a screenshot of a conversation that they've had with someone else, they're a screenshotter, okay? You ain't special. They gonna do it to you. But anyway, and you know what? But you are special because before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment special down below. You, you can comment anything you want to, but just comment special down below, man. And that's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, Every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC Cash App or we give away a copy of a video game. We're gonna be doing that drawing today. I hadn't got around to it. We didn't have a good stream yesterday as long as it was supposed to be, but you know, it's, it's all good. Uh, number two, and this is the more important one, if we can average 8K views per video and we get in there with these jump shots, man, we're gonna be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be a PlayStation, an Xbox, or 500 bucks or a laptop, man. Y'all get to choose what y'all want. Last but not least, the bots are down there. Make sure y'all ignore the bots. I, I don't I don't have Telegram. I got Instagram. I got uh, Twitter. And, uh, you know, that's it. That's all I got, man. So make sure y'all, y'all make sure y'all hit me up on those. And my phone number is not down there. With all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. So check it out, bro. Y'all already know what it is. It's going down. Ticino and Solo is going down tonight. That boy, he said tomorrow. And tomorrow, which is today. Tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, Solo, thank you for putting Eastern Standard up there because that 8 p.m. PST, bro, I, I, I can't convert to that, man. I'm not going to be sure if we're going to be in the stream, but if y'all want me to do another watch party where we break down the, break down the plays and stuff, y'all let me know. But anyway, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the wager of the year will be going down. Solo versus Ticino, $5,000 pot. NBA 2K23, PS5, 2v2. Ticino is in the U.S. with no delay. It's a fair wager, but who will win? And y'all already know how they do. They do they do two East Coast, two West Coast, and then the, the, the point differential determines uh, the game five if necessary, man. So that's going to be dope right there, man. Like I said, Ticino is kind of breathing life back into the community a little bit, but I think that the big, I think that the biggest thing is with the community and why, like, cause I was sitting there thinking about it yesterday. I sit here and try to play the game, have fun, do this stuff. We play off stream. Next thing you know, we you know we play 45, 50 games off stream. Everybody out there with a new bill, Gambit out there with a 75 overall. We hoop as soon as I turn on the stream. Here we go. It's pull up central, and I just think that's just the lame. That's just the lamest thing in the world to me because you're sitting there looking at us play the game. You know how we play. You see everything, and then you, the people just want to pull up and test their metal against somebody like me that just sits corner and I, I'm not even good at the game. So I really don't understand it. But yo, we we don't get a chance to have fun with the game. And like I said, the pull-up culture, I always, I'm always gonna blame Pretty Boy Fredo for the pull-up culture because he started it, then he got sick of it, and then he left. It is what it is. So uh, he made it cool, so that's what people do. And like, it just get boring, because when you play in the park and people want to, want to just, I just, they just gotta win. They just, they, they gonna do the same cheesy, cheesy BS over and over, and it's just not fun to play against. And it's hard for me to concentrate on that and be like, yeah, I'm gonna play that. And you know, it, it just is what it is. So thank you for Tosino coming back. 
breathing some life into the community, but maybe the community wouldn't need life breathed into it if they didn't just continuously shoot themselves in the foot and kill themselves, man. But uh, hey, check this out. That boy Money was like, look, man, dang, even Roblox hit more than 2K. I ain't gonna lie. That's a fire thumbnail. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all wanna see me play some Roblox, man? Y'all let me know, man. I'll play that joint, man, because I'm doing, I'm out here for the views, boy. That thing got like a hundred and some odd thousand views, man, on December, since December 4th, man, so that's dope. Uh, but like I said, man, we got, this is another thing about the 2K community right here, bro. Look at this right here. Power DF yet again. Three people hit legend in NBA 2K23. None of them uploaded a YouTube video about it. And he got the, uh, you know, he got the, the, the face emoji, man. And that's what I'm saying. Like, instead of working on content and trying to get better at your craft and doing stuff, we out here too busy pulling up on people and trying to do stuff like that. Try, instead of trying to take the hard road to the success and, and, you know, grinding it out and getting there, we want to take the easy road and try to pull up on somebody, beat them, and then try to put that out there. But you can't duplicate the 14 years or the 15 years that some people have put in, like myself, and, and, and to solidify the platform. Like, you got to do that. That's one thing that you have to think about. Like, that that one video, you might put it out there, you get some views. And that's what I was saying with Key Sticks. When he does his thing, he's going to have to figure out what his content's going to be, what type of content creator he wants to be. Does he want to be a streamer? Does he want to be what? And then he's going to have to figure that out and then cultivate it and know that a lot of times when people ask, they be like, well, bro, how do you, you got any tips on starting this stuff? And I'd be like, yo, they'll get ready to bang your head against the wall for three, three to five to 10 years and hope and, and, and hope something happens when in, in actuality, nothing may happen at all. And you know what I'm saying? So like, so that's why people always want to take the easy route, but the easy route is, and that's always the easy route in the 2K community. We always gonna take that route instead of getting better at the game. We just try to find one or two moves that works every time. We gonna left, right, we gonna do that. That ultimately, cult I mean, we gonna fade. We gonna do all of that stuff that cultivates and creates boring gameplay that nobody wants to watch. And then we wonder why the views are where they are. Because like last year, there was no, there was no need for tutorial videos, why? When all they had to do was just post a, uh, post a, uh, you know what I'm saying? All you had to do was uh, right stick up, left, right stick up, right. That's all you had to do. There was no need for tutorial videos. This year, last year, there was no need for jump shot videos. Jump shot three, that's it. Put it on. Put any release on you want to with it. And just Like, when you got stuff like that and everybody wants to take the easiest way out, and, and that's like, it's, it's just, it, the community just, it, we're doing it to ourselves. And it's just because, like I said, it, the, the real reason, can we keep it real right here? Because a lot of people see 2K, NBA 2K, as the quickest community to come up in because of the quickest way to get your name out there. If you're a gamer or something like that, if you're on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Tiki Taki, all that stuff, it's the easy community to get into because it's this community divided. All you gotta do is come in and do something. Try going and getting into the COD community right now and see how difficult that's gonna be for you uh, before you're gonna be able to get views and all of that stuff. Fortnite used to be one of the easiest communities, but everybody that, that plays this game or even tries to be a content creator, the first thing they do is they go to 2K because they know that that's one of the easiest ways to just get on the map and get seen. And then they get up there, get their numbers up and then they out. And like I said, like it's just one of the things where because it's one of the easiest games to play. It is what it is. And then, like I said, the community, we just doing it to ourselves, man. So it, it sucks. But like I said, we got to be more tight knit. We got to do stuff like that. And then we won't have to worry about what everybody else is doing. But hey, I'm talking too much about some real stuff, man. Up next, we got that boy Lego fan saying, I would love to hear 2K's reasons why the theater doesn't have at least one constantly rotating 1v1 court. I would also like to hear why there is no Gatorade ball return i want to shoot the ball and just practice my jump shot i, I mean I, I, i'm with you on that laker fan but you know maybe they're trying to string it out if, before people can actually get to um legend and stuff like that but man i just want to know why can't we just i want to go in there and practice my shot i tried to go into the theater to get 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 some shot practice can't do it i tried to go into um into Gatorade to get some shot practice couldn't do it because i want to practice catch and shoot you can't practice catch and shoot in there i tried to go to brinkley I can't rock with the camera. Ain't somebody saying go in the break. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Why would you go in the break? You, the camera angle is so trash. You can't even do nothing with it, man. I'm sorry. I tried to go into the Gatorade gym. I did the thing with dude said and changed the camera angle so I could see stuff a little bit more pre precisely. But, bro, it, it was bad, bro. It just, I just want to, I want a ball return like they got on current gen. That's what I want. Can we get that mic in the next iteration of this game? We can pay, just let me pay 50 VC for 30 minutes on the ball return, bro. That's it. I want to just practice my jump shot, learn all the catches and learn everything. I tried to go to the wreck. I got one shot. 
hit that first shot. I didn't see the ball the rest of the game. But I bet I play, play defense the rest of the game. It is what it is, man. But I, I feel y'all don't know why they do that right there. That boy Dion Work was talking about his no money spent built. As our dude said, so you started uh, 60 overall. I thought this was coming knowledge, man. He says, I don't play on the 60 overall. I make the VC on others and slowly upgrade the build until the point where it, I feel good enough. Uh, you know, where it can go play. I thought that was common knowledge. You, no money spent doesn't mean that I'm playing on the bill from 60 overall and, and grinding the money. The no money spent part is the only thing that I do is I just don't spend money. I use the game to generate the VC. So you use your bills that you already have. You use those big endorsements. You play five minute games and you just do that over and over and over. And then you can get about a thousand VC a game. You go to Rick, you're gonna get about a thousand VC a game. You play two or 300 Rick games on those guys. And then boom, you can make a whole nother bill. But hey, that is what it is, man. Last but not least, they're gonna put some levity into this thing, man. He said, how do you politely tell a guest who's overstayed their welcome? You like for them to leave. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I came home from college one time and I was overstaying my leave or whatever. My dad kept saying, hey, when you going back? When you going back? I'm in there over, over Christmas time or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, pa, I, I'm about to go on back, bro. Uh, I'm about to go back today. You know what he told me? Good, cause you was two days from me flipping the circuit breaker in that room and cutting off your water. I ain't even got no water in my room. What you mean? That so look, that, hey, maybe that's one way you can do it right there. But my dad said, me and your mama, we trying to walk around this butt ass naked. That's what we trying to do. We ain't trying to sit out here and have you in this house. And I had to tow my knee up too, man. And I was like, he just kept, where you going back, man? Golly, pop, I said, my knee tow up, man. What you mean? I don't, he said, you ain't got to go back. You ain't got to go back to South Carolina. You got to get the out of here though that's all i'm telling you you got to that well, anyway like i said i don't know how you can really tell guests that overstayed uh start putting less food in the refrigerator um call an uber yeah call, constantly call ubers for them in their name uh you know like i said cut the cut the lights off uh flip their circuit break in their room or just say you know the power grid weak only in your room just keep flipping it flipping that joint constantly i don't know what you could do man or like i said just start buying food just for you because they there for a reason and they're not gonna spend their own money. So just buy food just for you and do stuff. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hey, y'all parents ever ran y'all out the house when you came back from, from uh, Christmas break and stuff in college and all that? Or do they run y'all out the house when y'all come for the holidays? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Gosh, baby.